so I'm just um, cooking up the bacon. And as I said, I just keep cleaning up after each element that I'm doing. Re-cleaning, have a clean dishwasher. Rinsing out everything as I've used that all washing out. I'm just um, yeah, like I said, cooking up the bacon for the spinach salad. Okay, we're ready to put the salsa together. containers as well. Keep reusing them as long as they haven't had meat. Tomato. The cucumber and coriander. I freeze my lemon juice in the winter time in um, my big jars. I get I get enough a year's worth, and then I just take one out every time I need one. So we just want to dress it a little bit with some lemon juice. If you make this maybe one or two we'll put it together one or two hours before it'll give the, um, the flavors to meld time to meld together beautiful corn Salsa dip. So here's the whole baby green beans. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to cook them today. And then um, I've already cooked the bacon. We will already have some herb butter, herb, herb garlic butter mix. And tomorrow we're just going to chuck them into a frying pan and just heat them through um, with a little bit of the herb butter. All right, now we're going to make a herb butter. So we need just half. So this was, I got this on special for $5 or $4.99. So I'm using half, so it's an extra $2.50 onto the $1.14. Right, going to melt that down. So that's still nice and softened again salt and pepper nice big chunk of garlic so this is going to be used for the garlic bread um, a little bit on the potatoes to finish them off and the green beans all right prepare garlic bread so that you've got two choices you can cut down this way and open it out and just slather it or you can cut it into on a diagonal is quite nice and then people can just get little pieces at a time I, I kind of feel that you get more out of a loaf Just get your butter. I like to 
actually put some on the top as well. And you can pop them in the fridge and then give them 5-10 minutes in the oven tomorrow. Let's put a couple of tablespoons of water in there as well. ready. Smells so good. We'll just glaze it a little bit more with the sauce. We are doing really well. So we're up to preparing the potatoes and we're going to smash them, put the oil on and um, cook them up. Don't push too hard. These are really yummy. Just a little bit of oil, and salt and pepper. herbs and just a little bit of garlic fresh or jarred Brighten up these, um, this other onion, red onion. I'm just going to pickle it. So I'm just going to put some white vinegar in there, some salt, and just a fancy bit of sugar. So that's just going to pickle. So just do that overnight. And then um, it just makes it more vibrant and purple and it softens in it and it's just not so harsh. So I pop that in the fridge and we'll put that in the salad when it's ready. So I just got everything ready. I'm going to build this up. Into layers. Sauce. sweet potato turned out lovely and we've got cucumber pickled red onion Seeds, a little bit of a crunch. And I chopped up a fair. 
feta. Of course, if you don't like feta, you don't have to put feta. I used to hate feta, but I actually quite like it now. Just repeat the process. into the oven. There's the chicken roll. Uh, the garlic bread is done. Potatoes are done. I'll go and grab them. Yum. First layer. I always like doing two layers. second layer. that liquid that's come out.
So that is the lovely wreath pavlova. I like to do it in two layers so that you've got the layer of cream between both and it just looks nice. <laughs> well I think it looks nice and it tastes really good too so that one will impress. I will be having an ebook, a free ebook on all the recipes and what order you need to do things in. Um, I've basically managed to do it all within five hours and that includes cooking it, um, plating it up and a lot of mucking around you know with the camera and whatnot so um, start to finish five hours um, no actually it's been four hours um, so that's prepping everything, cooking everything um, so yeah that's not too bad um, in case you need to do it all on the you know on the one day. Alright thanks for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.